delay Friday night's debate, but Barack Obama wants to debate, and the Commission on Presidential Debates is planning to move forward as scheduled. Joining me right now to talk about the debates, should they occur to strategists who have prepared candidates for debates, our own Jenny Backus, and who's a Democratic strategist, who's the Network TV debate coordinator, and Mike Paul is currently a public relations consultant who has worked for Republicans, Al D'Amato and Rudy Giuliani. Well, you've got a couple of fighters in your corner. What a corner. Do you have a towel over your shoulder, uh, Mike? Do you, uh, when you, uh, in a bucket, is that how you do it? And they're in the corner with these guys? I brought the gloves for you, Chris. We got the gloves. What are you talking about? We'll <laughs> oh take them out. Oh, my God. You, oh, oh, God. Uh, prop man. Let me ask you, Mike, about this debate. Do you think it's a tactic on John McCain's part to say he doesn't want to go and will he keep that tactic right through friday night or will he show up anyway i think it's actually just who john mccain is i think it's, he's just being the maverick man that he's always been and i think that he's going to continue to move forward from that perspective he has some but strong he's going advisors. down in the polls his tactics have taken him down 10 points in the abc poll six points in the fox poll he's you, not you doing say it's well his with tactics his tactics that are taking him down well, i think it's a very well there's a lot of messages that are being shared around the country right now obama's numbers go up uh, McCain's numbers go down. You know, it's going to be fluctuating for the next few weeks. The bottom line yeah, is, though, this is an opportunity for him to show leadership, and he took it. If Barack had made that point this morning, we'd be saying something very different this morning. But and Barack's Jenny would be the one here. Let me, Jenny, make your point. But if Barack were going up in the polls, he'd pull the debate. That's one thing. But when you're going down the polls, you know, you're pulling the plug. Well, this is John McCain, who's all of a sudden waking up six days after this crisis happens and saying, oh, my God, I've got to go to Washington. I mean, this is a stunt. He hasn't been here. By the way, Orrin Hatch, it was great to come on the show. I asked him, when's the last time you saw McCain? And they're both in the Senate together. When's the last April. time you saw him? He said, I saw him a couple times the last couple months. April. And he then he says, says i got to get him. i got to whiz back to Washington. Mike, he said, he's got to whiz back to Washington. He hasn't been here. And yeah, this he, is the guy, but, Mike, but, but, Mike, Mike, Mike. Hold on one Jenny, second. Go ahead, Jack. Let's, let, let's just talk about the fact that everywhere John McCain goes, he talks about, oh, he wishes he could do town halls. He wants to compare with Barack Obama. Look, he wants to be president of the United States. That's right. We're not stopping the Iraq war because we're having a financial crisis. You have to be able to walk and chew gum. Okay. You have to be I've, able to I've be able to do... I've heard you that, then hear me out uh, on the point a little bit here. Number one, the reason why he made a stand, and leadership is about taking a stand, it's something that Chris talks about in this program all the time, he took a risk, is to go back to Washington now. We can talk about what he did last week, we can talk about what he did two weeks ago. I heard Chris's questions earlier. The bottom line is the guy took a chance, he put a line in the sand, I'm sure some of his advisors said, you know what, this is very risky, and he said, his we need advisors. to do it. There's a crisis that's going okay. on, no, and no, he wants no. to get Let back to Washington. You, uh, Mike. You're, you know what? Everybody here is on the same page. By the way, we just argue and look at things differently, but it's the same page. No, I hear you. When you're not winning, when the default button, every time the economy and they stop talking, the public goes back to the economy, and if the economy looks bad as it does now, they go, "We want to change. We want the other party to come in there." So what he has to do is keep distracting the public from that default position. That default position always comes up after the debates. I mean, after the conventions, and people go back to normal. Normal is we want an economic change in this country, a new party to take over. So every time that's about to happen, John McCain, he gets a very exciting vice presidential running mate. That was a good move, a smart right. move. Surprise, razzle dazzle, big surprise. They had their convention, they're about to hold a convention. Oh no, let's put it off for a couple of days. They're always trying to reset the clock, distract the attention from the normal default position the American voter is. We want the other party to have a chance. Well, you know what's going on, Mike. I, I mean, Mike, Isn't that the, I'm going to ask you yeah. to respond. Isn't that the tactic? Change the subject when the subject is the economy. Some say it's a tactic. Some say this. There's something that's very serious going on right now, and it's an economic crisis. He has two choices. He can continue on the road. You can't beat him up and say he hasn't been back in Washington. Then he makes a decision to go back to Washington and suddenly you say, hey, how come you haven't been there? The well, guy why did he go to the Clinton Global Initiative today and be so busy to get back to Washington? He has other why? ambitions and, out there. Well, there's another point, why, though, that's important. The other he, point that's here. important here is that <laughs> he wanted to make sure that he separated himself from the president, and I don't think that's a tactic as well. I think there was a reason no, why he did that. because Mike, Mike he, he says that he wants to come back and meet with the president. This is the president who's dedicating 14 yes, whole Yes, but it's the, Republican, the Republicans in the Congress who are involved with this bill, the Republicans who, as you said earlier in the news update out. right here on NBC, that the, it's the Republicans who are not doing a good job of the bill. So John McCain says, you know what, I'm not just going to go a, a, and, and vote a Republican line on this. I'm going to make sure I get back there and tell our guys <laughs> and tell the other side we no, need no, to no. do better. Let me ask you both. Do you think give the guy a little John credit McCain. for doing that. Okay. Well, let's give him credit. Let's ask you if he's going to go this direction. He has made his stand. He's taken a position. Is it important to him politically not to give now, not to show up at the debate? 
Does he have to stick to his guns now and not show up? Or if he buckles and shows up, will it look more tactical on his part? Everything. Well, no. Don't ask Michael, I, I, I if think... you're advising him, if you're his corner man, you yes, got the sir. towel over your shoulder and a bucket in your hand, would you advise him, stick to your guns, call up the debate commission, say, I'm not going? Or would you say, I'm buckling to the interests of the public, they want to watch this debate, I'm going to show up? What would you do? I think there's an opportunity for him to do both, quite frankly. There's an opportunity for him to go to Washington over the next couple of days no, and to try and make sure Ole that Miss. something happens. Uh, yeah, he's got to go to Ole Mess, of course, but the bottom line is well, okay, he can still spend some time in Washington you, as well. I you, I think, could, you don't think he can just say, I'm not coming? I think, if McCain, I think if Barack says that he's going no matter what, and the commission continues to say that we're going to have this debate, I think it would hurt McCain not to be there. And I think he I needs think to have a dual message if that were to happen. I think he needs to spend at least a day in Washington before the debate. Okay. And I think he needs to then come back and say, you know what? I'm here. I would rather not be here. I'd rather be back in Washington. Yeah. I got a message out. I might have even gotten a meeting with the, with the president or at least his staff and some, some of those on the Hill. And I came back because you guys decided that we're still going to do it. I made a commitment, but I would have rather been in Washington. Well, I mean, Mike, I have to say that I completely agree with you, and I think that's probably where we're going to end up. I do think that what really is happening is that John McCain is coming back to whip up Republicans to vote for the president's plan. Yeah, um, good for him. I, well, I think, I think the right. bill's in trouble. I think, I think what we haven't seen from McCain is any specifics on how he's going to fix the economy. Okay, let me tell you. And this is a debate he doesn't want to have. Let me just remind you all the I think he wants John to debate. McCain was the asked, bottom got, I, I think he John does want to have a debate. Okay, good. He John McCain was debate. asked yesterday if he was going to vote for the bill if the president needed his vote. He said, I don't know. He dodged the vote. Anyway, Sarah Palin said Jenny Bacchus, thank you. Mike Paul, it's great to have you back.